Now I wanted to make a follow-up video thanking each and every one of my supporters out there that wrote in such beautiful words. I mean, incredible stories that you all had to share with me. And I can't thank you enough. And we love each and every one of you. Some of the stories you told was so heartbreaking that I felt truly grateful and lucky for the situation I was in. And I just want to say thank you for your love, your compassion, your outpouring of generous and kind words. It was incredible. I, I, I'm actually speechless. And you know me, I always have something to say. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts. That was truly remarkable. Thank you. And it really did help. It put things in perspective. So, but now, like I said, my pops wants me to get on with gold mining. I know that's what he wants. And so that's what we're going to do. And I know that you guys would like to see us working up here on the surface with the wash plant. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down in the drift mine. We're going to mine out a whole bunch of material and run it through the wash plant all day to see what we get. And the first nugget we find, we're giving it up to Pops. It'll be Pops Nugget. And yeah, we're naming the new drift after him too, because I think that's only fitting that we do that. So what do you think about that? All right. So let's get suited up. Let's get down into the drift mine and let's do some gold mining. What do you say about that? huh? So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Well, then you better say it with me. So come on. Let's go! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get suited up. I gotta get that bucket down here. Let me go ahead and ring that. All right, we're gonna do some mucking first and then we're gonna attack that and get every speck of gold. All right, let me get suited up, get my mask on. We're gonna have to muck this out real quick. And that way we have a spot to put this shaft sinking bucket when we turn it around. So give me a second to do that. All right, now that's just a little over 300 pounds, about 320 to 350. We're gonna go ahead and hoist it up. Like I said, I got a new hoistman or new hoist woman, which is my wife. She's taking over for my dad. This is her first load, and I'm curious to see how she does. Now, I'm not gonna stand underneath it. Not that I don't trust her, but I'll be hiding out over there. So just like in any mine, we're gonna mark our load so we know how many is going up. And I'm gonna ring the bell. She's gonna hoist this thing up, so. All right, I'm gonna stand over here, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it just to make sure that she's okay, making sure those trunnions lock in. Okay, that's it. Don't want too much slack on that cable. All right. All right, now she went ahead and dumped it. She did great. Now let's see if she can bring it back down. in the new heading. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner, son. All right now we're gonna take our 50 pound jackhammer. We're gonna blow out this lower section right here. Now there's a depression right here, right where I'm standing, you can see that. And this entire caliche bed I'm standing on has a 15 to 20 degree dip. And we notice that wherever there's a dip, there's a concentration of gold there and black sand. And that tells me that we should be focusing on those pockets. Now, what we're gonna do is blow out this lower section to see if there's anything in it all the way across here. If we don't find anything, we're still gonna run it through the wash plant. But I'm hoping we find some nuggets. Now the first nugget we find, I'm gonna 
dedicate it to my dad. I think that's only fitting. And we're going to name this drift after him as well. Why don't you leave me a comment down below and tell me what kind of name you think we should call this drift. But it has to have the word pops in it after my dad. And then I'll run you topside and show you a wash plant. We built it from scratch. Every single piece. I think you're going to like it too. So anyway, I know, no, enough jaw jacking, Jeff. Get on with it. Hey. So what am I gonna say, huh? I want you to say it as loud as you can, so loud my dad can hear it. So come on, let's go! Now I've got my settings on manual. It's a lot easier and I can pinpoint a lot deeper with it on manual. Now I don't know if you can see that. It's doing the wobble pop. It's going over to iron first, and then over to gold. Yep, it's definitely a wobble pop. I got another one. I think that's one. That definitely sounds like one. Look at that. Right over to gold. Come here, look at this. See that? See how it kind of shot over there for a second? Right there. Iron and then gold. Like I said, who needs a gem? Just be a gold miner. See if that's any better. Oh, yeah, definitely. No denying that. Uh. But it's in that really, really hard caliche sitting on that false bedrock. That's where all the nuggets seem to be hiding is on this false bedrock. You gotta literally drill and blast it. Alright. Let's dig this thing out. Whatever it is, this is gonna be pops, okay? I hope it's a one ouncer in his name.
It's like going through solid rock. All right, let's take a look at the hole. You got gravels everywhere down here. Yeah. Tons and tons of gravel. All over down here. So where the gold's usually found is with that gravel. I'm gonna wash all this, see if there's any fine gold in it. There's all that beautiful red gravel, you see that? I'll be running that through the wash plant. Right there. All right, let's see what we got. Tons of that gravel. See what I mean? It's always a good sign. At least it's easy to dig in. Lots of that gravel. Yeah, I'll be running that through the wash plant for sure. whole zone is gravel. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it's still in there. Which means I have to go deep. Look how red that is in there. Are you seeing that? All right. Oh, it's out of the hole. Good, good, good. Now, you finally see what this monker looks like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh. oh, we got it. We got it. Make sure there's nothing left in there. Maybe. Oh, I know, hush. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's in my hand. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, that's so easy to see. Look at that mocker. Woo, yeah. That thing's huge. That's Pop Snugger right there. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. I don't know if you can see that, what I'm seeing. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. This one's for you, Pops. This one's for you. Look at that. Isn't that a beaut? Oh. That's heavy, too. That's real nice. That's for you, Pops. Look at all this material in there. Super red. Super red. Oh, there's one, there's more. That's a good looking nugget. That's huge. All right, let's keep chasing the rest of these. Then I'll bag all this up and we'll run it through the wash plant. Very nice. Good job, Pops. Good job. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dig out the rest of these targets to see what they are. All right, here I'm digging out a target that's up on a high caliche shelf. Uh, it's kind of odd to be that high up, but it was in the gravels in the red clay. Uh, eventually I found it. It was a little tiny one. Here you can see I'm digging to my the opposite side on my left. And it was a faint target. I couldn't really pinpoint where it was coming from. So I just kept digging the hole wider and wider. Here you see I'm taking the top out. And then I noticed that it's over to my right, down in one of those pockets, deep pockets sitting on the caliche bed. Well, eventually I found it. It was in the very bottom, and it was a very large nugget, and it was well worth the effort. I got four nuggets total. Pops nugget and three more. And I want you to see how far down I got to dig to get to them. Red clay with gravel. That was a deep one. You can see all that beautiful red clay down in there. That one was a really deep one. Took me forever to get that one out. Beautiful red clay. I tell you what, who needs a gym just be a gold miner? This will definitely test your metal all day long. And if you notice that the dip of the caliche is going down even steeper now, and I, I'm hoping to find like a, a deep pocket where just massive tons of gold is sitting. All right, let me get this bagged up. I got tons of bags down here. I'll throw them in the skip bucket, hoist them up to the surface. So I need to get a backpack in here and run over all that because I know there's still fine gold in there. Look how red that is, that whole layer. You want to see this run through the wash plant? Well, then you better smash that like button. Smash it right now as hard as you can. Five bags, five bags going up. Here we go. So here's our pan and tub. There's the first one, the first tank, 75 gallons. And then that one over there is 200 gallons. We have a nugget trap right here. So if there's any nuggets that can't pass through this stream, they get trapped on the inside of this ring. Most trommels will have a nugget trap somewhere on them either in the front or in the back. We've got one on both sides. I showed you the one in the back. I'll show you the one in the front in just a second. Here's the second nugget trap right here. Drop ripple sluice. Catches everything from up here. We're running two types of screens in here because we're running a lot of clay. The nice thing about this dump gate is that when I need to get rid of this material, I can just fold it up be on my way, it'll collect in here until I come back. And I can dump it and it'll come out. Because we're dealing with so much clay, we're running a screen on the top and the bottom. And that way, all the lighter material gets caught up on top. And the reason why we do that is because sometimes we get specimen gold that gets hung up up here on the top. If we were to have it down here on the bottom, chances are it would blow right out because some of the specimen gold we found 
It's really, really light. It's only got a little bit of gold in it. This is also a great way to break up any little clay balls that didn't get broken up inside of here. So I like to run them back and forth over the punch plate just to make sure that the little ones are all broken up and that there's no gold inside of them. Because you'll be amazed at how resilient clay can be. And Alan, if you're out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are your valves that control the flow up here to where the AU sauce is being made by the prettiest girl I ever saw. Look at that pretty girl. Hey, what kind of shirt are you wearing? And yeah, you're gonna get wet. Ooh, I'm getting wet already. So she's spooning it out here up in the top of the hopper. You see where those valves control the water flow here so that we can get more or less of a mix before it goes down into the chute and then down inside of the drum. This is very critical when you're running trombles is that the hopper gets as much water as possible so you can get a nice pre-mix. And then she's got a hose there she needs to wash down. We keep our tools here on the side, keep our leveler. Oh, there's our gear drives, I'll tell you that in a second. All of our tools are there. This is our drive mechanism here. It's basically a, a cam wheel with a timing belt. And then it's driven by a windshield wiper motor. And that's powered by this battery down here at the bottom. So, the entire drum is sitting on this belt with tension. So that way it doesn't slip at all. And we keep extra cam wheels here just in case we have an issue with that one. Now I can control the motor with two speeds with this switch right here. I can either make it slow or fast. See that? Or stop it. That's going to be a lot of fun painting that. Can't wait to see what comes out of it. Me too. <laughs> Did you get wet? Yeah. The header box, the whole thing pops right out, so it's really easy to do a cleanup. But that's really heavy. Now, like in any sluice box, most of the gold that you ever get is going to be up here in the top, and a little bit here, and hardly anything here. There's a little screw right here, see that? Just take that up like that. Now most of you probably already recognize this thing. This comes from a, a King 852S sluice, which is the kind that you don't have to classify. I like this, so we went ahead and pulled the guts out of one and put it into ours. And a ton of black sand in here. Oh, there's a piece of gold right there. Right there, piece of gold. tell you do you see it see that rock it's not a rock it's a specimen and see these these got quartz in them they're super light just look at all that black sand in there all right let's see what our final take is for five bags of dirt look at that if that don't make you smile nothing will just have a look at that huh not bad five bags i'll take it 
I think my dad would have been real proud of that, especially his nugget. Now I'll leave a snapshot of all the, the gold that we got at the end of the video. And of course, like always, we're going to be giving this gold and the nuggets, except for my dad's nugget, away to our premium patrons. It's just our way of saying thank you for all their support, because I couldn't do any of this without them. And if you would want to be a participant and help us keep the dream alive, and get in on all this gold, all you gotta do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like this. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then doing so, you help us keep the dream alive. And I know my pops would really be proud about that. Anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'll leave snapshots up at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this epic video. Make sure to hit that like button. Let's get 10,000 likes, okay? So until next time, this is Jeff Williams. And who? Well, I guess me and my wife, that's who. Saying, we appreciate all your support. Without you, we don't know what we would do. We'll sign up as a premium patron, and you can get some awesome sauce AU. Take care, everybody.